Season's greetings. How do we tell if a graph is bipartite by hand? I'll show you the quickest way to do this in today's lesson. Here's a graph that we can immediately tell is bipartite because its vertices have been separated into two sets, vertices on the left and vertices on the right, such that no two vertices on the left are adjacent to each other and no two vertices on the right are adjacent to each other. Every edge goes from a vertex over here to a vertex over here. When we know a graph is bipartite and we want to draw it, often we try to draw it like this, where it's really clear that the graph is bipartite. But graphs won't always be drawn so nicely, and so we may begin to wonder, how could we tell by hand from looking at a graph whether or not it's bipartite, even if it isn't drawn in such a nice way? Well, a graph that's bipartite is necessarily something that we call two colorable. And I'll put links in the description to other lessons I've done on bipartite graphs and colorings of graphs. What it means for a graph to be two colorable is that we could color its vertices with only two colors such that no two vertices of the same color are adjacent. So, for example, with this graph, we could color vertices on the left, say, red. So every vertex on the left gets this one color. And then every vertex on the right gets some other color, let's say, blue. And you'll notice that vertices with the same color are not adjacent. Clearly, being too colorable and bipartite are the same Thing. But talking about it in terms of coloring will help us to figure out how we can determine this by hand, whether or not something's bipartite. Here's how we're going to do it. If a graph is bipartite, then we can color it this way. Every vertex will have some color, and vertices of the same color won't be adjacent if a graph is bipartite. So we'll start with a drawing of a graph, and then just pick a vertex to start at assign it a color, and then from there we'll be able to force colors on the other vertices. And what's going to happen is either we'll end up with a nice coloring of the graph that shows us it's bipartite, or at some point we'll be forced to color two adjacent vertices the same way, and that will show us that the graph can't be bipartite. All right, I'll draw a clean graph here on the board and we'll go through that method. All right, here's a graph that looks kind of like a mess, and it's supposed to, because we're trying to figure out how can we determine if a graph is bipartite by hand when it's not drawn in such a clear way. Well, one thing you might want to remember is that a graph is bipartite if and only if it has no odd cycles. And I'll leave links in the description to my lessons proving that theorem. Now, a triangle, a three cycle, can be a pretty easy cycle to spot. So the first thing I do to determine if a graph is bipartite is do a quick check to see if I can find any three cycles, any triangles. In this case, I see we've got a triangle right here and that's an odd cycle, so I know this graph can't be bipartite. But it's not always going to be that easy, so let's go through the coloring method to determine if it's bipartite or not. If it is bipartite, then we can color it in the kind of way that we did the previous graph. And so this vertex here, for example, will have some color. Doesn't really matter what it is, let's call it blue. It doesn't matter because we haven't colored any other vertices yet. But once we color this one vertex, other vertices are forced to have certain colors. Because the neighbors of this vertex, well, if this graph is bipartite, the neighbors are going to have to have a color different from blue. So let's color that vertice's neighbors with a different color, say red. This is adjacent to this vertex, so this guy can't be blue. We'll make him red. This is adjacent to the blue vertex, so it can't be blue either, so we'll make them red. This is adjacent to the blue vertex, so it's got to have a different color. And this is adjacent to the blue vertex, so it has to have a different color. Now we can stop. Clearly, this graph can't be bipartite, because we see we've got a pair of vertices that are adjacent, 
that have been forced to have the same color. In fact, there's another pair right here, two vertices that are adjacent, but they've been forced to have the same color. If we had colored this vertex red, that wouldn't have made any difference. These vertices would have just all been blue. We'd have the same problem. If the graph was bipartite, we would have been able to go through this process without any problems. But since we ran into a pair of adjacent vertices that were forced to have the same color, we know that this graph is not bipartite. Again, bipartite graphs can be colored with just two colors. It's called a proper coloring when all the vertices are colored so that adjacent vertices have different colors. Can't do that here, so it's not bipartite. Let's do one more example. All right, here's a funny looking graph. First thing I'm gonna do is quickly scan it for odd cycles, specifically three cycles. I don't see any, so I'm gonna start coloring to see if it's bipartite by hand. If it's bipartite, then it can be colored so that adjacent vertices have different colors. So I'll pick an arbitrary vertex to start at. Let's say this one here. Doesn't matter what I color it, we'll just say red to get things started. Now if that vertex is red, its neighbors have to have some other color. Let's say blue. So this is a neighbor, it's gotta have a different color. This is a neighbor, so it's gotta have a different color. And this is a neighbor, so it's gotta have a different color too. And now I can do this same process with the newly colored vertices. This vertex is blue, so its neighbors have to be red. This guy's already red. This other neighbor, well, I've gotta make him red now. This whole time, I'm keeping my eye out for problems. Do I have any adjacent vertices that have the same color? Uh, not yet, so I'll keep going. If I did have adjacent vertices that were colored the same, I could stop and conclude that the graph is not bipartite. I've just got one vertex left. This one here, what should its color be? Well, it's adjacent to a red vertex, so it's gonna have to be blue. And again, I'll check for any problems. I don't see any. I was able to color this graph without giving adjacent vertices the same color. And so indeed, this graph is too colorable, which is the same as saying that the graph is indeed bipartite. We could partition its vertices into two sets, and in fact, we just did, the red set, and the blue set so that vertices in the same set are not adjacent. So that's the easiest way to determine if a graph is bipartite by hand. First, check to see if there are any triangles. If there are, the graph isn't bipartite because bipartite graphs can't have odd cycles. If you don't see anything obvious like that, pick an arbitrary vertex to start at and assign it some color. This will force all of its neighbors to have color two, whatever that other color is. And you can continue in that manner, coloring vertices and their neighbors. If at any point adjacent vertices are forced to have the same color, you can stop. The graph is not bipartite. But if you're able to color the whole thing and you never run into any problems, the graph is bipartite.